I'm like a kid in a candy store walking into a place like this, but if you're a beginner DIYer, it can be a little bit intimidating. There are shelves upon shelves upon shelves upon shelves of more stuff. But don't panic, get your pen and paper handy because I've put together the list of all the items you're going to need to get tooled up with your own basic starter kit. And it starts with the hammers. And they come in all different shapes, sizes and prices. My advice is to go something in between. So a 20 ounce hammer is a good size which will cover you for all the jobs that you need to do. But you want to pick it up and feel it. Make sure it feels balanced in your hand. And you don't always have to go for the most expensive hammer because you're not a professional tradesman that's going to be using it every day. So we'll go with this one. Next up, it is screwdrivers. Now, you want to have a good set of medium size flathead and Phillips, but also it comes in very handy for all those little small jobs around the house to have a tiny set. Plies. You're going to want to make sure that you get a set of bull nose, but also long nose plies, because they'll get into all the hard to reach areas. Oh, and locking plies. They've got a stronger grab than I do. Some of the smaller stuff that's just as important, a tape measure, some wire cutters, a level for hanging those pictures, pencil and a ruler or even a straight edge. And the saw is a good all-arounder is the tenon saw. You can use it to cut up a frame for a bench that you're going to make or cut up a picture frame. That's our main tools ticked off the list. Now it's time to look at some fixings. Screws, there's a lot of them, so which one do you go for? Well, my advice is to go for a variety pack, and you want to make sure that they're galvanised screws. That way you can use them outside or in. Thanks, mate. No problem, Adam. Something we can all relate to is holes, whether it be in our walls or in our woodwork. So what do you need to fix that? Well, a general purpose filler, and that's what we're going to add to our kit. And if we're getting a filler, oh, we need a good quality putty knife too. How exciting is this? Sparkly new tools for your very first starter kit. Now, we don't want to leave them messy like this. We need somewhere to put them. So I've done this simple sketch of your very first toolbox. And to make it, I've got some 12 mil ply. I'm going to start by marking out all these pieces. For the style, we're going with the old classic toolbox look. Now I've got all the pieces marked out, I get to try out my new hand saw. The other good thing about using hand tools is it's actually a workout. Look at this bead of sweat just coming down my face. So how does it work? We've got our base, our two sides, and then our end. And to put it together, I'll be using the screws that we bought earlier. Now, this material is 12 mil thick, so now I need to mark in six mil from the ends all the way around so I know where to put my screws. Before we go any further, our final tool for our starter kit. And the best part is, it's a power tool. Meet the cordless drill. The good thing about the cordless drill is it's so versatile. Not only can you use it for drilling holes, but you can use it for putting your fixings in, like the screws. If you look up the top here, we've got three pitches. One of the drill, and that's what I've got it on at the moment for the drill bit. But when I put the screws in, I can put it to the picture of the screw. So it's so self-explanatory. If we look on the other end, there's a picture of a hammer, and you want to put it in that setting for when you're going into things like brick, concrete, anything masonry. It's just a great all-rounder. With my holes drilled, I can now glue and screw this toolbox together. Is 
toolbox is starting to take shape, but there's one thing missing, and that's the handle. How easy is that? Your very first caddy. Now we just need to put some tools in it. And I know where to find them. I'm going to start by putting in these screwdrivers. Now, the reason why I went with this set is because it came with this handy holder that I can just screw to the side. Once they're in, I can pile all the other tools in. Whether you live in a house or an apartment, next time you need to do a quick fix or build your next DIY project, you're going to know where to find all your new tools in your handy caddy.